see. So I have with me Dr. Ayan Agarwal, rank 30, INICT, November 2024. Awesome rank, beta. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. I'm feeling very happy, and my parents are equally happy. Um, and like, so, it sir, was sir, actually. Uh, um, sir, like, uh, I was uh, like in like I was in gym, and uh, there I saw my result. So <laughs> then I came back uh, and uh, told the result to my parents. So in that time, the endorphins were also increased. Yes, sir. So, uh, tell me more about your journey, beta. Ke... Um, so, so like uh, it was like uh, my last minute decision to appear for this INICT. So, like I registered on the last date itself because like uh, I had got a uh, good rank in NEET. So, I was thinking of uh, taking college through NEET, NEET itself. But uh, I thought, okay, like uh, I'll try my luck uh, through this INICT also. And uh, so, like I prepared for some two three weeks. But uh, like I think it was the main concise notes that I had, you know, that really helped me in revising the whole 19 subjects in in a matter of just uh, two three weeks. And so like when I appeared for the paper, um, it was like a typical AIMS paper. You know, there were some confusing options. Uh, personally, I found it uh, slightly tougher than the May uh, AIMS paper. But uh, uh, and so like there were some uh, topics uh, which uh, I hadn't even heard of. Uh, so. And uh, the easy questions were, I found uh, they were very, very easy. But uh, like the tough ones, uh, they required some thinking and logic uh, to apply. Okay. So, if I ask you, there were some questions like that were very difficult. Or I didn't hear it, but it was more like a doable type of paper this time. Yes, sir. It was doable. Okay. And was it like, agar hum, if we compare it with NEET PG difficulty level, it was more difficult than it was easy? Um, so I found need PG slightly tougher than this uh, aims, but uh, yeah, but uh, uh, it was a tough paper overall. I think it is the overall consensus everywhere that need PG to is a bit tough. Yes, and also, yes, I want to know from you, ke, you know, when you gave this exam and you had some expectation, which yes. branch are you looking to join now after you know this result? Up, yes. up, up, um, so, sir, initially, like based on my neat PG result, I was thinking of joining medicine uh, in RML Hospital Delhi. But uh, like now, I'm I'm considering joining PEDS uh, or maybe medicine in PGI Chandigarh. So let's see. I'm still I still have to decide. I think sorry, good branches. I have choice to you have been a dams a three year student. So right, you have been a vocational and testing discussion with us. Yes, sir. So like uh, the the one great thing about dams is that uh, the their notes are very crisp and concise. So like uh, you know you can revise it uh, in a very short span of time. And uh, like I used to highlight some important stuff in my notes as well. And then uh, so like uh, as I said, I just prepared for some two three weeks for this paper, and uh, that was majorly possible because of the concise notes that I had. And then, sir, uh, in my internship, uh, I enrolled for DAMS TND sessions. So uh, like uh, DAMS TND, the test used to happen on a weekly basis. So like uh, I used to prepare, I used to give one week to prepare a subject. And then uh, I used to appear for the test, uh, uh, you know, on, the, on that specific day. And then uh, I used to review the mistakes that I had done. And then, sir, mm, and then I think by September or October uh, last year, my first revision cycle was uh, finished, and uh, like uh, I aligned it with the Dams TND uh, cycle itself. अच्छा आपने जैसे क्लासेस का भी फायदा उठाया, TND का भी उठाया। कोई ऐसे टीचर जो याद आ रहे हैं जिनको उस समय क्लास में करके बहुत अच्छा लगा या कॉन्सेप्ट बहुत अच्छे बने? Um, sir, I personally found uh, Deepthi Ma'am's and yours classes uh, very useful. And uh, like I even attended uh, offline classes in the CD Fort Auditorium in Delhi, and so like uh, I think in those uh, uh, like uh, uh, Deepthi Ma'am concised uh, the whole OBGY in just uh, two sessions, uh, so that was pretty useful. And uh, like in my last minute revision, also I referred to those uh, uh, you know TND sessions itself um, for my revision. And uh, but see, did you also use the DAMS DVT or did you appear for any CBT or any other resource that you used in DAMS? 
Oh yes, sir. so like uh, I use DAMS as a subject-wise test in the app. Uh, I use DAMS PVT and uh, the grant test. And then, sir, uh, I use CVT. So like uh, there were three neat PD CVTs and then one INI PD CVT also. So I used, uh, uh, yes, I used uh, these uh, resources. And uh, DVT also, it's, uh, it's a very uh, great resource for last minute revision. So like, uh, I think uh, uh, on my penultimate day, like uh, the day just before my INI CT, uh, I just, uh, I looked through the, um, like the DVT of Ops Gynae and uh, Pediatrics. And like, I was fortunate enough to get uh, at least two, three questions correct because of uh, that itself. Great. I think there is some disturbance, I think, coming from your side. Sir, um, the audio. I think the battery is going. So by the time he joins us back, uh, I'll just tell the listeners that this year we have had massive results from NAMS and most of the results are coming from the students who have attended the classes. The paper was very conceptual. And in such a conceptual paper, your notes and your long-term hard work always helps. Okay. I think now it is better, Ayan. Uh, now it's fine. Okay. That's okay. So, uh, Ayan, uh, also, uh, once you join in, uh, I want to know yes, from sir. you any particular source of motivation that you have or energy. You told us in the beginning, Jim is one of your source of motivation. Yes. <laughs> um, answer, like, uh, uh, Jim is one so and I mean uh, determination and uh, concentration and uh, like the hard work that you do it goes a long way and uh, like it will reap you benefits uh, no matter what. So like uh, you shouldn't shy away from doing hard work and uh, you keep doing it. So the entire idea is that don't be afraid to work hard. Don't be uh, yes, afraid sir. to work hard. Yes. Yes, sir. You will get the results. Uh, yes, sir. Any any suggestions for future NICT aspirants? Anything you want to suggest to them? Um, sir, I'll say that uh, you need to keep your basics strong, and if you have your basics strong, you have your concepts strong. Then, uh, like uh, in the last uh, few days, you just need to revise those uh, facts, uh, um, and you know you'll be good to to like uh, to succeed in any paper. So, like because the core concept remains same, it's just that uh, those volatile topics or the volatile facts uh, that are, uh, you know, that we tend to forget. And if you're able to revise those facts uh, in, I would say, within the last week also, then uh, you will be able to go get a good rank. Do you think you're starting early at NAMS with your, you know, in your third year itself, helped you to form those basics and foundations? Uh, yes, sir. So, like. Uh, uh, within third year itself, I started preparing for these entrances, and uh, so they helped me in you know laying down a basic foundation on which uh, you know I can build. So like uh, I, uh, the, uh, you need to uh, build the second year subjects also strong because like whole of medicine or surgery or you know even like whole of the clinical subjects they are based on your second year subjects itself. So uh, once you have uh, that uh, foundation, then you can, you just need to like lay down layers over it. Definitely. And Ayan, it has been a pleasure to talk to you. I wish you all the Thank best you. and I once again congratulate you on behalf of the entire DAMS teams. And I thank you, also so much. thank you for making DAMS a part of your journey. I wish you all the best. You, I wish and pray that you get the branch of your choice in the place of your choice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.